Hey, can I speak to Mr. Roger Mears? Speaking. Hey, um, I'm Doug. I'm an author. I'm wondering, would you mind talking to me about racing so I can write some stuff about it in a book I'm writing? Um, who is this? I'm Douglas Kenny, and I'm an author. What kind of author? What do you mean? What are you doing? I write books. I'm currently writing a book about racing. I'm wondering if you'd answer some questions about racing for a book I'm writing. Um, uh, okay, try me. Alright. I was wondering, first off, my first question is, what was your rookie year in IndyCar? Uh, gosh, I don't remember. I, that's, uh, Might have been 80. 1980? Ah, okay. 81, you said? Somewhere in there. Yeah, 80 or 81. Ah, okay. My next question is, what was your reaction when Rick Mears won his fourth Indianapolis 500? Well, I was really proud, obviously. It's my brother. Yeah, I bet. Uh -huh. Did you join him in the victory celebration? Uh, you bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. What was the first thing you said when he won his fourth 500? What was the first thing you said? That he said? That you said. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, just we're real excited about, about him winning. Yeah, I bet. Uh -huh. And weren't you caught up in the Kevin Kogan accident in 1982? Yes. What... What do you think caused the accident? What exactly caused it in your I don't know. There was a wreck up front, and, um, and then a guy from behind uh, ran over me from behind. Oh, okay. All right. Who was your best friend in IndyCar, your best friend? Besides Rick, of course, but who was your best friend? Uh, probably my wife. Oh, okay. Did you have a friend, a driver that you were friends with? A lot of them, yeah. Hmm. I had a lot of them that were friends. Who were they? Just all the guys back then. I mean, there was a lot of them. I, gosh, I don't know. You're, you're talking. I can't even remember what I did yesterday, so let alone back that far. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you follow NASCAR at all? Or other yeah, racing series? Oh, yeah, Casey's in it, yeah. What's Casey been up to now that he's out of Geico racing? Uh, he's still, he's racing for, uh, Biaggi. Ah, Biaggi, okay. Uh-huh. All right. Is, does he hope to return to Cup eventually? Yes. Ah, okay. What was your reaction when Casey won his first NASCAR race at the Coke 600 in 2007? Well, we were elated. So really happy for him. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. You bet. I'm really... It's pretty cool, and Casey is one of my favorite drivers. Well, thank you. No problem. I saw him at Phoenix a couple years ago when I went to the NASCAR race. He signed an autograph for me. Okay. Really nice guy. Yep. And... Do you follow any other racing series? Uh, a lot of off-road. Ah, uh, yeah. A lot of off-road racing, yeah. All the Baja stuff. Ah, okay. Did you participate in the stadium series back in the 80s or 70s? Yes, I did. Nice. What's the biggest race victory in your racing career? Well, there was a number of them. Okay. And, uh, five uh, Pikes Peak Hill climbs and... 20 world championship off-road races. Nice. And uh, just a whole slew, a whole bunch of them. Pretty cool. Those jump out at me, yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm from Colorado, so I've heard of that event before. Yes. Have you ever been to Estes Park, Colorado? No. You should. It's That's my hometown. It's It's a town that's near Pikes Peak. So, 
Let me think if there's anything else. What, which of the Indianapolis 500s that you've participated in was your favorite? Uh, probably the last one I ran is, uh, was the one I ran the best in before I uh, had a part failure. Oh, okay. But I qualified eighth place and was running really strong in the race, but then uh, broke. Ah, uh, that, that happens sometimes. Yep. I'm going to be honest. I'd rather lose that way than to start on pole and finish last like Poncho Carter did. <laughs> you <Yeah>. know? <laughs> sure. So, uh, have... let me think if there's anything else. Oh, do you believe that the Andretti curse exists? No. Yeah, you're not that superstitious, are you? No. Hmm. Are you religious at all? No. Ah, okay. So you're you're not religious, okay. What do you do when what do you do when you attend a NASCAR race and they say the pre race prayer and in other racing series as well? What do you do? I say Amen. Ah, okay. Alright. <laughs> so let me think. There's another thing. Uh, did you ever attend the 2005 Ford 400 when Casey Mears nearly won? The what? Uh, the 2005 Ford 400 at Homestead, Miami. Did you attend oh, yes. that race? Uh -huh. Yes, I was there. How did Casey react to his near miss? Was he okay with it or was he disappointed? Well, no, he was really disappointed. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that before, but it's just something that happens in racing, you know? That's right. So, let me think. There's another thing. Oh, yeah. My question is, how do tie rods work when it comes to IndyCar? Tie rods? Yeah. I don't know what you mean. There's, there's tie rods, and there's tie rod ends, and there's... All right, let me say tie rod ends. Let me just say that. Tie rod ends are what hold the whole Indy car together. There's tie rod ends everywhere. Ah, okay. Uh, time joints are called. Time joints? Mm hmm Ah, okay. That makes sense. And tie rod foot goes on the steering in the front. Two tie rods. Ah, okay. So it basically holds the wheels, right? Steering together. Ah, okay, the steering. Alright. How does the constant velocity joint works? CV joint, I'll say. CV joint, that's what drives the rear end. I mean, that's what turns the rear wheels from the transmission. Rear ah. end to the... That's what turns the wheels. Ah, okay. What makes, the, what makes the car go forward. Ah, that makes the car go forward, alright. The rear axles is what it is. So it's basically the axle? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And how does the front wing work? It's just like an upside-down um, airplane wing. Oh, okay. I remember Indy in 1988, Danny Sullivan crashed out of the race because the front wing broke on him. Mm -hmm. That happens. Hmm. And modern... Hey, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, okay. That's, that's okay. plenty of information. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, bye. Bye.